Hi, it's summer in the UK, which means host pipe bands, obviously, because we don't know how to reservoir. So as a result, I thought we'd have a go at making our very own water butt out of things laying around. Now here is a, an old bin. You can see it's been broken um, and replaced, but not taken away. So I either take this to the tip or I try and upcycle it, recycle it and use it. So at the same time, I bought this little water tap. This is a water barrel tap. You can get this for about five quid off eBay or down one of your local stores. And we're going to clean this out and see how it goes. Hopefully it will hold water. So come and have a look at this. There you go, it's a little bit of a mess, so I'm going to clean all that out and then uh, check for leaks. Hopefully it will be fine and then stick this in and hey presto, we've got our own water retrieval system. Right, we have a problem. Uh, there is a hole here. Zoom in, have a little look. It looks like a split. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can fix it. Um, firstly, it probably needs to be leveled in, but this is not going to fix it. So I have no idea how to do this or how it work. Oh, hello. I'm in. I'm not in. Okay, so I need to fudge around with that for a bit. Okay, if you look closely here, this says. Uh, HDPE, okay it's upside down but you get the idea, which has got a melting point of about 120 to 130 degrees Celsius, so a soldering iron will melt that, um, it will also give off fumes so you have to be very careful. Um, I've got some aluminium tape in the garage, so I'm going to put that over it on the inside, melt it into position and then melt it on the outside and see if that hopefully, fingers crossed, holds water. So that's the plan. First of all though, it's obviously split slightly and overlapping, so I'm going to try and align it first and then fix it on the inside and then fix it on the outside. So you can see here, I've managed to put a screw driver in and just get that overlap sorted. Uh, so before it was pushed in, now it's a little bit more flush. That'll give me a much better chance of fixing. I'll need to clean the areas and everything as well. So there we have it, uh, it's sort of welded now. Um, a technique I used, completely made up, I'm a complete amateur at this and I don't know what I'm doing, <coughs> but uh, was to use, uh, where's it gone, this shaveling and I would heat the bottom of it and press it in so as it melted it would kind of fill the gap. That worked more towards the end than the beginning. Um, you might see it in the uh, GoPro video. But basically pushing down at the time and keeping that f those fumes away from your face. They didn't really smell at all so I don't know how bad it was. But um, yeah, I'm going to now do the inside but I'm not going to do the inside the same way because I've got my head in that area. So. What I'm going to do is uh, use some of this tape here, much higher melting point than the plastic underneath it. I'm going to put the tape over it and then heat it on the other side and that will do two things hopefully, help fuse the other side and it will also adhere the tape, uh, this is aluminium tape I think, um, adhere the tape to the inside so it's doubly secure. Okay, I just had another idea and I just started doing it which is do it on both sides. Why not? And actually it helps keep it um, flat at the same time so it won't, no bits will stick out. If it comes off, it comes off, but it should be a, a better seal as a result. That's all done. Looks rough and ready, but it actually feels like it could be sealed, which is really good news. I'm now gonna do the same on the inside. Um, and I won't be filming that because I care about you guys. You do not want to see my backside. Okay, have a little look on the inside. And you can see the tape is down and I've done my best to melt it uh, in. So hopefully that's all good. It's 
still a bit of a leak, but it's much better than before. So I need to figure out where it's coming from exactly and just remelt it. The good news is it should be quite easy to do. Okay, so attempt two, moment of truth. Will it hold water? Basically did exactly the same as I did first time. Ooh. I think we've got success. I'm gonna leave it a while, see if there's any slow leaks. But the moment of truth has passed mainly because I've already checked and it's not leaking at all now. And uh, it's good news, at least I think it's not. No, it's not. It's good. Uh, right, all we need to do next is drill a hole around here for the tap. Uh, this is the tap. Tap is approximately 22, 23 mils, 24 mils. I have no idea. Uh, basically, the way I'm going to do it it's probably used the wrong tool but this is roughly wide enough it's slightly too small so that's going to give me a bit of wiggle room uh, for getting it in making sure it's really nice and tight so I'll drill through and then I'll make it a little bit larger and then we'll have a nice tight finish Okay, uh, I've tightened it all up now. Uh, let's just do, see if it works. It, does it work? Oh, there we go. It works, hooray! We have flowing water. It's a good job. Uh, note about that one though, I needed help. Uh, I needed someone to hold it while I crawled on the inside and tightened it up. Um, no one has arms long enough for that task, unless you've, you're multi-talented, I'm not. So uh, that's that's job done then. Right, we're in position here. We just need that to go up a bit so we can begin to fill uh, buckets and watering cans with water. So I'm off to go and get some bricks and get it all stacked up. So surely, Rob, you have a pretty comprehensive technical design for this. I do. Okay, there we have it. We've uh, got everything working now. And you can see... Hooray! We've got a water barrel. It's working. Full disclosure, this has begun to leak slightly because I dragged it along the ground. So I'm going to hit it with the, um, just reseal it again later, but it's not, it's not really uh, dripping much. And just to finish off the welding, I've put some of this weather seal <coughs> stuff I had laying around, which you use to seal off uh, roofs, and uh, we'll see how that goes. There we go, leave that to dry for a couple of days and then we'll test again. No, it's leaking about there. Okay, finally solved it. And if you look in there, you can see uh, here we've got some aluminium tape around the edge and just some more of the rubber stuff on the top and that seems to have done the trick. So finally got there. Um, that's been sitting there for about uh, a week now, so there's no leaks. And I did burn myself, there's my little pinky, not even sure you can see, minor burn on the soldering iron. Uh, this lid, which you saw me enthusiastically cut off, the intent is to invert it. It will then catch water, drill a hole in here, and then you'll get everything from the rainfall. Now obviously, I have no guttering there, so I need to put some guttering in, and that will be in part two and I'm going to go to Office Boy Builder's house and steal some of his stuff. So uh, shout out to OBB, check his channel out. But in the meantime, uh, that is how to convert a, a broken wheelie bin into a water butt, which is going to hopefully help you during the summer months when those hose pipe bands are on. One more thing, uh, cost overall cost was £5. And that was for the tap, which I got off Amazon. So um, it might have been six quid, I don't know, but about that 
Um, everything else is left over bits and bobs from the house. Hope that was useful. Obviously like and subscribe and stand by for part two which will be coming in the coming weeks. Okay.